what we have to do as an airline, we have to think 10 years ahead. You know, our asset investment, we are investing 2 billion euros per year into airplanes. Yeah, 80% of the 10 years investment volume is already locked in with Klaus and others. Um, so uh, we have to really try to see, you know, what's going on there in 10 years, because all this investment money is locked in. And we've got to be sure we're putting the right bets out there. Yeah? So we also have to think about stuff like that, which is quantum computers. Now you think that might be completely crazy, it's even more crazy than artificial intelligence, you know, but if you, if you follow it closely, you can see that Google is on it, Microsoft is on it, you know, NASA is on it, everybody's on it. Uh, you can buy these computers already. And one of them, if you, I mean, they're right now in special applications and partly you can already use them via cloud services. You know, if you would scale up the current generation of quantum computers to the size of a CPU of a standard PC, one quantum computer would have the computer power of all PCs currently in the world. Yeah, and what that would mean in terms of cryptography and what have you, artificial intelligence, you know, it's really scary if you think it through, but it's happening. Yeah? It's real, very real, and we are looking into this. Um, now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, um, and I listened to what you said, and you said, you know, it's maybe five to ten years out, or maybe not, and so on, you, we think it's there, and we are partly already using it. Mm -hmm.